Today we take a look at two motor mounts. Uh, this is a Fly Corvair mount. This is actually a display mount. It's not even uh, a regular production mount. It's just the one that we use on display stands in Oshkosh. This is for a Zenith 750 and I want to show you something. If you look at the two center tubes in here, the two center tubes on this mount, uh, they have, uh, or they're straight as an arrow down to the mount. Uh, this is what we were talking about on rear starters. This one has a joint here. It's a display mount. It is uh, sectioned there because these two tubes are not on a Zenith 650 mount. Uh, so we have it so we could display it either way. In reality, uh, they are welded completely in place. If you take a look at that, they're straight as an arrow and they structurally support the cabin top. If we come over here, we look at a uh, Georgia mount here. Uh, the Georgia mount is uh, made by an outfit there. Notice those two tubes are not going down to the main tray. What they're doing is they're intersecting a uh, tube right in the middle. You can look at any certified aircraft motor mount you uh, want and you will never find that. That is not structural. Right there, uh, no tube ends in the middle of a uh, another tube on a motor mount, uh, particularly right there. That Again, that has to be there for the faulty idea of having a rear starter motor on an airplane, on a Corvair. Uh, we don't do anything with rear starters, and one of the reasons why is it can't effectively be packaged. So uh, right there is uh, not, in my book, an airworthy motor mount. Uh, does my opinion count? Uh, well, I've been doing this for a long time, and I am a graduate of the world's largest aviation university. So when I say that does not regularly appear in aircraft, or I find that to be unstructural, uh, that's an opinion, but it's one that's backed up by an awful lot of education. Uh, conversely, go back and look at that right there. Uh, that does, uh, uh, is straight as an arrow. The, uh, the nature of uh, structures in airplanes is you're trying to line up the loads uh, and have them uh, work directly on things. Uh, that is uh, working into the middle of a tube that is not correctly done. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the fitment to the firewall. If you look at it right here, uh, there is an upper uh, fitting right there that's bolting the, uh, the engine onto the firewall. Uh, that's a uh, good look at it. Uh, it's completely welded all the way around. I want you to look closely right there at that weld bead all the way around. Conversely, let's take a look at this. Uh, there is one right there, uh, and it is uh, with a very light tube and pinched around here. And some welds can be done that way, but I want you to take a look at that one right there and see how much space there is right there. And let's get a look at the underside of that. There's an incomplete weld. There's a pocket right there on the underside of it, uh, uh, right there on the bottom. But for the most part, take a look at how much room there is on the end of the tube. Let's pan right over to the end of the tube over here and notice that one's built completely differently. If you take a look at the washer right there, there is a skipped weld right there, uh, completely missing for about a third of the bead on the back. So uh, that, and why there's a gap here and not one there, that's a quality control issue again. Let's take a look at the lower points. That is how a motor mount uh, is attached to an airframe. Uh, if you have a uh, a uh, fairly heavy engine for its class, as a Corbair is, or a Lycoming would be. This is how the motor mount is properly attached. The loads come down the tube, and they meet at the firewall where the firewall is reinforced on the inside. Uh, let's take a look at this right here. That is a square piece of material. Uh, it is cut off. The bolt is an inch sideways from where the tubes uh, come in. The ends of the, the, ends of the uh, square piece not even rounded. Uh, how do you think that uh, performs in tension? Uh, the load is not being introduced at the correct location in the firewall. Again, some Zenith motor mounts have been built that way. 912's had them for a while. Uh, but it's your money, your choice, your airplane, your life. Uh, that is not what I consider uh, the ideal way to attach a, a full-scale engine uh, to a firewall. So, uh, again, uh, that is how the bottom uh, is to look uh, if you were going to have it done correctly. Go out and take a look at uh, certified airplanes and you'll see that they're all done that way. 
uh, and uh, you will not find something like that in a Cessna uh, and that's the reason why Cessnas have been around for a long time is things are built to standards uh, I went to Embry-Riddle we studied how all this stuff is done this in engineering is referred to as detailed design uh, and that does not have it right there so uh, even just looking at the rest of the motor mount from a uh, quality perspective or a lack thereof uh, take a look right there where I'm pointing uh, there's a cold weld there's missing welds on the underside here of all the bushings can you get away without it sure uh, but it's your money or uh, were you intending to get away without stuff was that the goal let's take a look right there off the top of my finger uh, notice that weld isn't even finished across the top there that tube is not connected uh, right there uh, okay not connected there uh, but kind of welded right there uh, why one and not the other well that's somebody uh, who thought uh, attention to detail didn't matter again uh, welds like uh, that one right there that's uh, of debatable integrity uh, as you look at it somebody would say oh well it was inexpensive again uh, tube not welded right there tube kind of welded there tube kind of welded here uh, not welded there take a look at uh, why uh, the two tubes come to different locations on the uh, on there they're uh, uh, not fitted very well so as you take a look at it uh, this is uh, what you have to decide whether or not it's going to be on your airplane or not uh, take a look uh, just how that one's fitted right there and then explain to me uh, why that one's standing half an inch off the firewall uh, again your airplane your choice what you find value in but uh, I don't consider this uh, motor mount to be anything that should be on somebody's airplane yet this stuff is sold uh, just because uh, people who are uh, yet to learn about quality control uh, and uh, uh, think uh, it's inexpensive so uh, not all motor mounts created equal uh, not all ethics of companies equal uh, you decide who you want to work with this motor mount is allegedly for a peaton pole you're looking at the top side uh, motor mount uh, for a Corvair powered peat and pole. This is somewhat close to the plans, but it is uh, very, very poor craftsmanship. Just want to give everybody a quick look at this. Let's take a look at a uh, terrible weld like that right there. Uh, dumbest thing you ever hear about welding. Uh, absolutely the stupidest thing. Uh, guys will say it frequently. My welds are like a gorilla. They're really ugly, but they're strong. Uh, that's the stupidest thing. That's the hallmark of an idiot. Uh, and these welds right here, you could probably get away with flying it, putt-putting around the pattern. But you have a good stiff landing, you're gonna break this off. Uh, these are uh, terrible looking welds right there. Uh, look at the... Uh, open end on that and how that's just slapped on top you know uh, just uh, very poor throughout bad idea this is going straight to the landfill don't fly crap like this it's not good for your health I've been welding stuff for almost 40 years and this is a terrible job doesn't matter that it was a gas job it's just terrible don't accept stuff like this on your airplane. Learn how to weld better or pay somebody good to do it. I uh, hate to think that somebody got paid to do this, but you never know. Uh, again, uh, stay away from garbage like this. If you want to learn something, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, please. Uh, press subscribe and turn the notifications on. Do something good for yourself.